already like already halfway across the across the yeah. bar. <laughs> halfway, Jesus. Yeah, we're tons, so good damn quick. These enemies are high level. Yeah, and that that quest we completed, home sweet home, give off five thousand. Five thousand, yeah. Bro, stalkers suck. I hate stalkers. They're only in this game of Borderlands 2, and they're also only in this mission in this game, so they're not too bad in this game, but they're in Borderlands 2 quite a bit, and I hate them. They're just going invisible all over the place. Oh, yeah. I I own Borderlands 2 and some of its DLC before Borderlands 3 was even was even announced, I think. Yeah, I, I don't have it on Steam. I need to buy it at some point on Steam when it goes on sale, but... Um, I, I should have it on Steam. I, I, I messed up, because when they first released that DLC for the first month, you can claim it. Like you didn't need to pay for it. Um, and I had the game on Steam at that point, I just never got around to claiming it. I claimed it on PlayStation, but yeah, not on Steam. Well, S well S Steam's a good game launcher, so I pretty much got all the Borderlands games on Steam. When Borderlands 3 came out, I first got it on Epic Games and I just transitioned to Steam. Yeah, I didn't but, even bother buying it on Epic, I just wanted yeah. for PlayStation. I did not want to deal with the Epic Games launcher, though I did get Wonderlands on Epic Games. Uh, I still kind of wish I tried Wonderlands, but I just never got the chance to do so because of how much money it costs. I got it, um, I, I mean, I know for you it's... It, because I get benefits, actually. I get like a thousand a month for doing it. He had the, he had the white hair, the little bald man on top, and he had the mustache. Kind of reminded me of somebody. Yeah, I don't know who you're thinking of. What the fuck? I did not realize Torx could jump like that. Oh god, corrosive. Corrosive. Corrosive is a fun status effect. Or elemental effect. It's called status effect for some reason. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. The board has decided to reverse your termination. Oh! Electric barrel? There's too many enemies here. Yeah. The electric barrel is good. I'm spamming grenades. I still got those really good cryo grenades. Ah, go as myself. Good. Oh, yeah, those cryo grenades. Good. We got we got stuck on that one mission that requires us to break a window with a cryo freeze. Yeah, I don't like missions where they require you to have certain elements. Yeah, I just find it kind of stupid. Yeah, I think they've only ever done it twice, and once in this game and once in Borderlands 2. But like I said, in Borderlands 2 they had the fire traps around, so you didn't need your own fire weapon. You could use the traps. It wasn't too bad there. Oh god, level 20s. Uh, second winded. Second winded. Oh, level 18. Level 18s, yep. Oh, there's a. Level 20s earlier, but they gave us level 18s. Sweet. There's a um, blue class mod over here for you. A blue what? Blue class mod. Uh, it's level 19, so you can't use it yet, but it might be worth having a look at. Shield capacity... Well, I'll take a look at it after we deal with this. Level 18 now. Oh god, flamers. Gone. Alright, I level up. I'm gonna take a look at my class mod even though, yep, requires level 19. No, oh, this is. Wait, is this for me? I think Gladiator. Oh, no, no. No, I'm Lobbringer. Yeah, Gladiator is. Why did I think you was Gladiator? That's me. Yeah, you should You should take this. Yeah, yeah, wait, let me let me come back for that. I don't know why I thought that was. It, it's weird. In my head, I knew it was Athena. But for some reason, I thought you was playing Athena, not me. I don't know. Hey, got your teddy bear. You'll be out of here in no time. Oh, Torque Queen. I 
I'll be down here in a second. Alright, sounds good. Oh god, no ammo. That was that was me, that was me. I did a little of that damage. Yeah, good job you Goomba stomped it. There's a scheme achievement on this game for 316 no scope in an enemy with a sniper. You need to kill him. Jeez. It's a, but it, it's really bad at tracking it. Like I I had to do it like 30 times on PlayStation before it actually gave me the trophy. I mean, back then, this game was trying to be cool. Yeah. 360 no scope. <laughs> Man, keep it for Call of Duty. This is not Call of Duty. Keep all these MLG Pro kind of moments for Call of Duty. Touch the button, man. You gotta touch it. Really slow. Yeah, look at him. We just press it, man. But he doesn't put a combination in or anything. Yeah, see, look at him. He kind of reminds me of somebody. But I don't really know. Ah, oh, more stalkers. Who? Where are they at? I can't see them. I don't. Yeah, no idea what I was supposed to be shooting at. Like once the shield is gone, they don't go invisible. Three sixty, no scope him. Yeah, I wonder if it would if you need to keep up. Yeah, that would be cool. Okay, let's see if it works. Oh, too late. Okay, well, I didn't get achievement, so. <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, he what spins. He's spinning. He's spinning. <laughs> Where's he at? Oh, he's right here. He's invisible again. I don't know where he's, he's at. Oh, he's right here. He's got the, he's got the new sword combos early. Jesus. <laughs> move on to move on to see if these. You don't belong here. Save your sword combo for save for C's, man. I'm gonna have 360 no scope this guy. Yeah, I'm not sure if spamming it makes it count. Like, it, it's really awkward. I don't know exactly how he tracks it. It's, but it took fucking forever for it to work for me. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, maybe it didn't. Double checking my Steam overlay to see if it actually gave me it. I might also need to be an any grab. Let me find the achievement while you continue the mission. See if I can figure it out. It's literally called 360 no scope, I'm pretty sure. While airborne, spun 360 degrees, then got a kill with a sniper rifle without using the scope. Oh. So you just jump in the air, 360, kill them with the scope. Or without the scope, I meant. Without, yeah. But you need to do it while airborne, so you need to, I think oh, you need while to start airborne. spin while airborne, and then, yeah, so it would be easier in any gravity areas. To the black void. <laughs> it literally leads nowhere. Kind of looks lazy to me. He just walks through a simply little, very dark room. 
Yes. Well, the void. Well, he didn't, so the door wasn't there at first. He used like a cloaking device to hide the door. Um, but there, there's still clearly no room behind the door because you can actually look through the window. They didn't. They didn't texture a little. They didn't texture a little room. No, like I, I literally mean the. There's a window that you can look through, and you can see that there isn't a room there. It's not even that they didn't texture it. There's. It just would not make sense for a room to be in that position. God, you spend all your life in the menus, TJ. I'm trying to s get my money, man. <laughs> selling stuff. And I make sure I'm not accidentally selling my favorite weapons. Okay, Jack. Borderlands 1 characters. And yeah, they're using the Borderlands 1 models. Instead of Borderlands 2 ones. Yeah! Wait, they actually do, don't they? Yeah, it's the... It's their... I never it's, it's their models from the first that. game. It's their models yeah, from the first game, not the second game. Yeah. Honestly, they look better than the second game model. Well, Roland still looks a bit weird. Lilith looks... I don't like Lilith's hair in the second game, man. Yeah, I do like your model too, but Roland, I mean, he's trying his best to look like a soldier, that's what I think he is. Yeah. He's trying his best, but guess what? He failed. And his neck is so long. Dialogue just a little bit. Ooh. Oh god, Jack murdered a scientist we rescued. Holy crap, that was nuts. Huh, that felt good. You? Uh, let's talk. <clears throat> uh, the path to the eye of Helios is open. Get through the inner hall and open that fast travel network so I can shut her down. Uh, Roland, Lilith, you stay here, defend my office. I need to retreat here later. Sounds like a plan. Roland, he just murdered... Sounds like a plan. We'll see you when you get back. You know, if I hadn't airlocked those scientists, one of them might have turned those defenses back on just as you were walking through. Would have fried you like a skag steak. Think on that. Jack, that was the sexiest damn thing I've ever seen. Amazing what you can do with a little ingenuity and a big- That was the sexiest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. You murdered the scientists we rescued. <laughs> yeah. Just get to the other end of the inner hall and we can shut down the eye Ooh. Oh, reward oh, weapons that we can't even use yet. Warrior, yeah, they actually- sexy, This game probably has the best balance out of all Borderlands games. Like, nothing's really overpowered, stuff, but the but, game uh, is still pretty difficult. Guess I was wrong. And that restraining bolt should deactivate one of the two clap traps back in the weapons lab. Head back and shut down whichever clap traps weapon interests you the least, I guess. Would make a little bit of sense since Borderlands 2 came out before pre-sequel, so pre-sequel needs to balance some stuff out from yeah. Borderlands 2, yeah. Yeah, and then Borderlands 3 obviously was built from scratch, it wasn't built with the same engine, so it kind of makes sense that there's balance issues in that game, but... Fucking hell, the balance issues are bad in that game. <laughs> Jesus. 
they weren't at launch. Borderlands 3 was actually really well balanced at launch, and then they just fucked hey, it up. With those restraining how? How? Jeez. How? I mean, how how they mess it up? It feels balanced because at first, and then so they mess at, it up at, at launch. At launch, the end game system yeah. only had three tiers of mayhem. Mayhem 3 would double the health, so mayhem 3 was the highest, and it was just double health. Then they added in Mayhem 4, which Mayhem 4 was like really high scaled, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, Mayhem 4 enemies got 1000% extra health. And then they added in Mayhem. Oh, wait, we went the wrong way. Then, like that six months after launch, they added in Mayhem 2.0, which had 10 levels of Mayhem. And Mayhem 10 enemies have like 15,000% extra health. So it's stupidly high. And because of that, it was like impossible to do mayhem seven, eight, and nine, and ten because the health was too high. It, 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 yeah, it was so you just impossible. so you just need to bring friends with you. No, no. So so it used to be impossible, but because it was like way too hard. Instead, you know, the obvious thing would just be to lower the enemy health. That's what any other game developer would do. But but Gearbox, for some reason, instead went with the really complicated option of buffing up every weapon, every class mod, every grenade. You kidding mod, every... me? They buffed everything in the goddamn game. So yeah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! So uh, so oh, the so the no. weapon. I gave it to this guy. Yep. Oops. I don't know which one he gives us. One of them gives us a grenade. I, and one of I mean, them I just put. Just speed running through these well, side well, missions. Is... The world, <laughs> Fair enough. And this guy was the closest to me, so. Yeah, was, did we get the grenade or did we get the. Turn in. Yeah. Oh, we got the mining light. Actually, that looks quite good, so maybe that's not a problem. Yeah. Okay, Are you so kidding yeah, me? Borderlands 3 have to buff good. all the weapons just because of mayhem mode? Yeah, I. That's stupid. I don't know why they did it, man. Yeah, like, uh, you know, Borderlands 3 has such a high legendary drop rate. Um. I mean, I was telling you about it. The Hellwalker shotgun was already one of the best guns in the game. And they oh, I love that gun. I love by... that gun. I got my hands yeah. on that gun. I love that gun. They, they buffed the damage by 400%. Um, the, Jesus the, Christ. I, I, I always remember this one. The, the DNA submachine gun, the damage got buffed by 1,600%. Let's go. <laughs> like, they weren't small buffs. Just because of Mayhem 2.0, are you kidding me? Yeah. Really? Literally, all they had to do was lower the enemy health, but instead of doing that, they decided no. to buff up every single piece of loot in the Are game we instead. Discuss the fact that Jack murdered four innocent people? They don't even look like weapons it anymore, they look like God's hands. On their faces, the noise they made. <laughs> so it's hot. true. Literally. Yeah, no, the, the, like, the problem with it is the game is now balanced for Mayhem 10, so Mayhem 10 isn't like a hard mode. Mayhem 10 is like the normal mode, and anything under it is easy mode, basically. <laughs> Yeah, they, they fucked up Borderlands 3. Wonderlands is really well balanced. You're super strange, man. Super strange you have to do that. They didn't. It's one of those things where it's just... You know, I, I mean, I can't even really defend them for that, because that's such a big mistake to make. That's not even like a small... Oops, we, we fucked up somewhere. Like, that, that's such a big thing that messed up the entire game forever, unfortunately. I think it would be, like you said, I think it would be pretty fine if they lower the enemy's health instead of buffing weapons. Yeah, it would that's be fine. They and, and only lower it in mayhem mode. Like, the, the enemy health is fine in the main game. All they have to do yeah. is lower the health in mayhem mode. But it, it's, it's weird as yeah. well because at some Should point be like in the game, they. Oh, you stole my kill shit. You, you might need to red Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, no, at, at some point they did notice that there was a problem because DLC 1 and 2 came out before Mayhem 2 came out. Uh, so DLC 1 and 2 were balanced like the old version of the game was, so they are really easy, unfortunately. DLC 3 came out shortly after Mayhem 2.0, so it's it, although Mayhem 2.0 is in the game, it's still balanced like the old Mayhem system, so it's also really easy. But DLC 4 spawns in so fucking many enemies, Jeez. and the boss fights have so much health. So it's Jeez, like, man. they realized, yeah, like they realized there was a problem and they tried fixing it, but they only fixed it for the new content. They didn't go back to the old content and fix it there. So like the main game in DLC 1, 2, and 3 are way too easy, and then DLC 4 is really well balanced. Um, oh, you're gonna, oh, you, shit, yeah, I, I need a rest. Yeah, I get you. Oh shit. Oh. It's also like they- Oh, don't die, don't they die. They added in- Ah, fuck. It's oh, badass right here. No. Yeah, wait. If we team up in it, one of us will kill it, the other one will survive. Right. 
Oh, wait, I know we both we both got up. Okay, that's, okay, that's strange. Maybe because we yeah. leveled up. I don't know. Oh, it probably was. Yeah, I got the kill and you 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 got the you revive from the level up. Mhm. Mm yeah, no, it, it, it's especially weird as well because they added in a raid boss with DLC six, which you know raid bosses are supposed to be like the strongest enemies in the game, and it is strong. It's strong as fuck. It has so much health. Um, but then because they realized that they fucked up with the balancing, they did go back to the trial bosses. Only the trial bosses, and they gave those more health. And the trial bosses, the mini bosses in the trials have more health than the raid boss. Kind of, kind of fuck, man. strange, man. It's just strange. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It yeah, doesn't make sense with the balancing. Kind of like when you played it as much as I have, you kind of get used to what is tanky and what isn't, so you kind of know. But for a new player, like that's confusing. You know, like the event boss is more health than a fucking great boss. Like, I, I didn't make I, I didn't make it that far in Borderlands Story, so yeah, it's kind of strange to me. Yeah, and I mean, you played back when it first came out on Steam, anyway, oh, like when it was an epic game. So that back when, yeah. Even the game back when, yeah. Like you, you, you probably yeah, played the game actually when it was well balanced now. before they took it on Earth, so you might not even. Yeah, you, you probably actually played it when it was well balanced. Yeah, I have when it was well balanced until they, like you said, completely messed everything up. Yeah. Still, still strange. Still strange and confusing why they do that. At least you said. Yeah, at least you said Wonderlands though is well balanced. Yeah, well, Wonderlands is really well balanced. They did a smart thing in Wonderlands where if they buff a weapon in Wonderlands, they don't buff the base damage. They buff the amount of extra damage it gets per level up. So, so like it, it basically buffs it at the end game, but doesn't buff it early game. Um, like they increase the scaling, but not the actual base damage. That's how they should have done it in Wonderlands three, but they unfortunately didn't. It's still fun though, like when you've played it as much as I have, you kind of, like I said, you kind of know what's overpowered and what's not. You kind of know what mm -hmm. to avoid to make the game. Like, I, I, I don't do any side missions in Borderlands 3 because you're always on level, so you don't need to. Um, and there are some legendaries that if I get, I just refuse to use at the start of the game. But, like, if you get the Hellwalker or the Hellshot, anything with Hell in the name is going to be really overpowered. Don't use this. The Doom weapons, yep. The Doom weapons, yeah. Oh, one thing as well that annoys me actually about it is, you know like, oh you probably don't know she never actually got to the end game in Borderlands 2, but in Borderlands 2 the end game is OP levels, which basically it, there are 10 OP levels, and for each OP level it levels up the enemies, but it doesn't level you up, so at OP 10 the enemy is like level 90 and you're level 80. Um, that's how the end game works in that game. But you have to unlock them one by one by completing a raid, so you have to Complete the raid and you get OP1, complete the raid on OP1 and you get OP2, uh, and you know, so on and so on. In Borderlands 3 though, as soon as you beat the game, you have access to all 10 Mayhem levels. So, you don't need to unlock it, and what you can do is you can go into Mayhem 10 immediately, and then go into Arms Race, which is DLC 5. Um, Arms Race doesn't have traditional scaling. So, Arms Race is easy as fuck on Mayhem 10, and it's also got some of the best legendaries in the game, so you go straight to Mayhem 10, do Arms Race, and all of a sudden you're really overpowered and do all the endgame content without I having to. I still, wish I, I still wish I was able to get the DLC when I first came out, though. Back when I, I guess I could say, was interested in Borderlands. Still wish I could have gotten yeah. those DLCs, yeah. I mean, at least it's cheap now. Like, you wait, yeah, so at you, least. Save, you save money. I mean, game's getting older, so of course gonna oh, put it shit. on sale, and then they're just gonna make it cheaper. Yeah, no. See, the first season pass goes on sale for like six pounds all the goddamn time. Oh, well, all the time. Yeah, pretty much every big sale that Steam has, the season pass will be on sale. And it'll be really cheap. So I'm guessing Steam's gonna have a Halloween sale. So I'm guessing the season pass is gonna be cheap as well. Yeah, when do they do the Halloween sale usually? It should be soon. I think during Halloween, I don't know, somewhere at the start of Halloween, the 31st. Yeah, it, sh it should be. It should be um, it'll probably start a little bit before and then go on for a little bit after. I mean, the major sales I know of is summer sale and the winter sale, that's about it. Yeah. Not sure about these other sales I have, like Thanksgiving sale, Halloween sale. Yeah, Halloween might just be like horror games, so Borderlands might not be on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. 
Halloween theme sale, we gotta only put all the horror games on sale. Yeah. You know, if it's, if it's like a full traditional sale, yeah, with a bottle. Get Devour sale, while yeah. it's on sale, boys. Get Devour. <laughs> Are we tempted enough? 90% off. Devour is fun. Dead by Daylight's fun because it, it's an asymmetrical horror. Dead by Daylight is my favorite horror game. It's so scary. Yeah, very, very scary. Jesus Christ. It's so scary. I, I never want to play it ever again. Yeah. At first, when I played Dead by Daylight, I thought it was going to be scary, but once you get used to it, then it's not literally scary anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's the same with any horror game, but especially Dead by Daylight, since it's a new game. Can't really make a PvP game stay scary for anything longer than a few days. Nah. Oh, you like the Hyperion pistols, don't you? I mean, the one that's I'm using... One. Yeah. Oh. I'm not gonna take it. The one I'm using currently, I thought it would be fine and good, but nah. <laughs> Once I start using it, it's slow firing speed, by the way. It's too slow, yeah. And it's still slow, even after I'm continuously shooting it. Yeah, they don't shoot quicker, they just get much better accuracy. Yeah. Okay, this thing eats for ammo, Jesus Christ, he uses 7 ammo per shot. I love it. Oh, I like this area. Oh, you're on the outside. Sucks to suck. Oh, you can't go inside? Okay, good luck. Oh, I, I can. I'm, I'm, co I'm inside now. I love this area. This area's cool. What's cool? Here? Look at this! Jesus, look at it. We're on the outside now. Yeah, it's just a bunch, like, a fuck ton of jump pads and everything out here. Oh. We're outside now. Gear 360, no scope achievement. Oh, you stole my kill. Bastard. Oh, he's actually trying for it. Wait, get out of here. I was trying oh, to see if yeah, I could... Wait. No. I ex oh, I another one. Oh, God. Low. 360, I'm in midair. I'm floating. It's quite low. It's quite low. Get him, TJ. Oh, I can't hit my shots. Big accuracy on this thing. Oh, I did it. Oh, well, I didn't get the achievement. I don't think I have. It looked like you shot and then 360 in. No, I threw 60 before I shot. I made sure I did. There's a Legion fighter going your way, chasing after you. Watch out. Yeah, I, he, he's annoying me, so I just ignored him. He's still, he's still annoying me. Shit. Help. Why are you falling off the map for? Oh, there's a way down here, huh? Yeah, yeah th like, th this map is cool as fuck. I love this map. We Slam! Going down a tunnel. Slam! Oh god. Hi, oh, I went past you. I'm all the way to the bottom. Yeah, uh, I'm going further down as well. I was about to die if I stayed up there. Come on, pick it up. It's kind of crazy how gotcha. cool this area is. It's cool as hell. I like it. I oh got the people that screams. Yeah, this place is. I mean, it's outside, so it's really cool. Anything that we go outside, the whole entire place just looks really cool. Yeah, it does. That's a fire enemy. I got no ammo. No ammo. 
Reload. How's it like opening ammo chests when you're in any grab? The ammo just flies out. Shit. Kind of like when I do that too, but it's kind of annoying to pick up. Hey, oh, I think it's a Oh god, more jet fighters. Easy. Jeez, am I getting sucked in by something? Wormhole generator. Oh. These Legion people can drop wormhole generators yeah. and it pulls you in. Woo, jump pads. I love these jump pads. The jump pads are pretty cool, though. Yeah, they are. Yeah, like this game does have a lot of cool, like, a lot of good stuff in it. It is definitely unfinished, though. Like, it does have problems. Bugs. Um, only one DLC, even though they, yeah. even though you said they're, they're supposed to have more DLC. Yeah, that was a company got fired. That was planned. Yeah, but company went out of business, so they couldn't finish the game. Yeah. Oh. oh shit. Even the claptrap, yeah, claptrap DLC almost didn't get made, but Gearbox stepped in and finished it off. Well, that's good. Thanks, Mox. I appreciate it. I'll send you the blueprints now. Who's taking fire? I tried. Roland and Lilith. This game almost never had any DLC. Yeah, I mean, it, it still would have had the character DLCs and the weird, like, Hollow Dome thing, which isn't very interesting. Um, but yeah, like, it wouldn't have had any full campaign DLCs. Oh, good thing Gearbox decided to finish off the Clapshaft DLC. Yeah, I wish they finished the other one off as well. But like I said, they kind of turned the other one into... They, they kind of turned ideas of it into DLC 5 in Borderlands 2 and Foxy's Heist and Defensive Jackpot in, in Borderlands 3. Ah, uh, okay. So, it, you know, it still kind of came out, but not as it was originally played. But on a different game. Yeah, two different games. Yep. Oh god, I need health. Ah, shit. Medic. No, so my Q. Sorry. I, can get I got O2 though. Yeah. <laughs> I had O2 though. But any grab jumps in like such a closed in area like this is kind of awkward. This enemy is literally a zombie. They're called they call infected, so the zombies. Yeah, but like this, this one is literally just a zombie. Zombies in the outer space, Look Jesus. At Look at him. <laughs> oh whoa, he's throwing shit out of his neck. Oh yeah, stealing my kills again, TJ. Sorry. Oh you're still dying, wow. Focus on the pain. I was trying to save your life, trying to put them to one HP. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the zombies kind of reminds oh me. God. Have you played that first DLC of Borderlands One, the Borderlands 1, Doctor yeah, Ned one? one? Zombie, yeah. Zombie Island of Doctor Ned, whatever it's called. Yeah, I really like that. One. I like that one as well. I was about to say. I like the zombies in it. it. Gives off a lot of XP each time you kill one. Oh, it, it gives off so much fucking XP, man. It yeah. really does, yeah. Like 300 each, and there it just pretty which much is a ton compared to like the crabs, but there are so many zombies in the, in the map. So many, so many zombies, and each one gives off a lot of XP. Yeah, just consider that DLC and XP grind right there. XP this form, just quite a, a nice like Borderlands 1 is definitely outdated, um, but it's still it's quite a fun DLC, I think. Still fun, still fun even today. Definitely set the groundwork for what Borderlands became though. Like Borderlands One is so simplistic compared to these 
for I'm like I'm getting one Yeah, so it. simple has a uh, different tone to it compared to the other games. Yeah. So gory. It's still it's still playable and enjoyable though. Even yeah, to this really day. Is. And of course it's going to be outdated because it's a very old game. I need a res. I got no enemies to kill. I don't know why I didn't use the OG revive. I felt like wasting time. Well, thanks for wasting three extra seconds of my stream. I love the shield, actually. That's. Oh, jeez, get baited. <laughs> I, f I forgot about it. Jeez. That. <laughs> hey, at least you didn't die, so that's good. Just, okay, just run in there and get blown up. <laughs> run into a trap. I don't know why I came here, to be honest. I think we're supposed oh, right. to go through that. Okay, I guess we're going here later or never. I think we do go in there, but I think we have to blow up some things in here first. Yep, like I said, later. Oh, what did I just die to? I didn't even... Jeez. Uh, I don't actually know. I probably need to revive. These guys are not dying. O2 res, O2. Oh, this guy just one shot me with his laser open. Yeah. I, <laughs> but, no! Oh shit, the status effect killed the enemy that killed me, so I can't even res up him. No! Oh. I got you though. I still think it's pretty cool that my keyboard starts flashing whenever I take damage. Yeah, I didn't know the same did that. It doesn't do it with my keyboard. You feel like a weird interactive keyboard. I use a uh, Logitech keyboard and mouse, so it's probably probably why I think. Depends on the brand. Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, you might experience some explosive decompression. Try not to get sucked out into space. That's one down. Kill the other one, and I can blow some stuff up. How do we get to the other one? Where is the other one? It's down this way. Oh, we can go on this. I'm guessing. Oh God. Oh, we can walk on this, yeah. Warning! Air reserves at 50%! Warning. Air reserves at 50% and dropping! And dropping. Oh, he shielded it just so far, my shield. Uh huh. He killed me. Get trolled. He's placed in the wormhole projectors. Jesus Christ, he has the noise. They should add oh, shield. They yeah, should add sh shield. They, they should add shields to the new sword combo in Sea of Thieves. That's why I think. I mean, they still got the sword walk in, so. No sh uh, yep, no shield. Same kind of thing. But you can't throw your sword though, so. Maybe. Yeah, unfortunately not. No, I don't think you can, unless no. it's like some combo we don't figure out. I doubt you can though. Boomerang sword. <laughs> That'll be a new thing for see if these you can throw your sword boomerang style hey, you, and it comes back to your hands. When the season releases, I think it's like 5 a.m. your time. I mean, yeah, I'm obviously gonna play it, but I'm gonna tomorrow. I'm gonna wait until it's time for me to stream, and then I'll start playing it. Uh, me and Flo are gonna get on it when he drops. Oh. Oh, so that means you two can teach me the ways of the sword combo if you guys learned it before. Yeah. Yes. Teach me the ways. Yeah, Fluff's also got work. Uh, during the afternoon, so you'll be on. I think about. I think he usually gets back at like one your time, doesn't he? Something like that. My time, uh, seven. Seven. He comes back seven in the in the evening. Oh, one, one my time. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, I'm either gonna play Cyberpunk until Fluff gets back, or we can continue playing Bornlands tomorrow and wait until he comes hey. back. 
Yeah. Probably did a bit more Borderlands. Bo border boy. The La Chunky uh, Chunkers. Hey, remember remember the crate that guild that named the La Chunky Chunkers? Oh, that, that yeah, 100% actually is what I'm calling it. La, the La Chunky Chunkers. Engineer. Building a century. Mm. How far does this send us? Oh, okay, yeah, that's quite a strong jump pad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what? man. You went on a jump pad? Yeah, it sends you quite far. Okay. Holy shit, man. Very high jump pad. Jeez, they need to design more of these. And a three, four, five, let's go. Wow. I don't actually know what opened. Oh, I see. <laughs> that, oh, wait, oh, 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 the same. Right down here. Oh. Oh, oh I thought I wasn't going to be able to make it. <laughs> I'm not in the menu, so you can travel. Yeah, for once. Not spending 30 minutes selling my weapons anymore. Uh, I'm probably gonna spend 30 minutes. Give me a second. This machine's here. Suckish weapons in the shop. Yeah, the else kit's pretty bad as well. I really need a better shield. I need a better shield as well. Same shield for a while. Let's what level is it? It's level 15 shield. Hey, I just uploaded the gun program to the hidden loaders. Feel free to activate a few to test it out. Oh, I know, I know another glitch in this map. Okay, the, oh, uh, the another glitch? one tappers. Yeah, they're, one -tappers. they're four levels over us. Oh, that's not good. What's what's the other glitch you're talking about? Oh, uh, it's a little bit over up. I should probably get to the point. Oh, I'm gonna die to fire. Is it? The, oh, never mind. I'm, no, I died. The fire does yeah, too much did. damage. Oh shit! Oh shit! Jesus oh, Christ. okay. I, I think at this point we gotta do side quests. Yeah, I think we definitely do. I mean, we the. Can Kill him! We should, uh, we should at least be able to get to the command station. Nice! Are you able to get up? I don't know. No. Get to you. No. <laughs> there was more enemies. No, mm -hmm. and the enemy that I was gonna res off into the goddamn shield. Oh, wait, he's an idiot and he jumped out of it. I think we can just complete this quest and then we have to move on to side missions. Yeah. I think we do. We should get a ton of side missions when we get to the, like, we shouldn't have to go back to Concordia. We should get more in I mean, the command post. In Jack's office, there's a little bounty board in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's quests available. I, I've noticed a really cool bug when enemies, when these human enemies are cloaked. If I throw my shield at them, that explosion just happens over and over and over again. Like, a million times. So oh, it just instantly kills them. Two overpowered uh, bugs. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Throw your shield! Never mind, they're not invisible. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get one shot by them again. Yeah, I did. Jesus, chillax, this is a player versus an environment game, not a PvP game. Actually, I'm gonna die to fire. Can okay, can you fish it off? Yep, good job. Yeah. So, the bug is... Wait, was it? It might be a bit... Is he either a bit further up or is right here? 
Let's cover up, let's cover up. I'm observing ya. So it's right here. This one blows my fucking mind that this one is in the game. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> what did the. Jeez, ah! Oh, yeah. No! We glitched! <laughs> I, I accidentally died like that in my first ever playthrough just because I was hugging the wall and I accidentally walked through. Why is um, why, why is this right here? Uh, are we yeah. are we bugged apparently? Eventually we do hit a death box. I don't know how how long. We oh, I I just I just went past you. Later. How'd you go past? What the fuck? I don't know. I just went past you. Where's the death box at? Yeah. Why am I falling so much slower than you are? Slam! Oh, slam I doesn't. Am Slam doesn't even t take you down farther, or faster. Yeah. It looks cool though, like you can see the entire fucking like eye of the Helios station around us. <laughs> you're literally in the planet, planet right here. Oh, now you n now you just went past me. You're falling faster than I, I am for some reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's buggy. I mean, we are out of bounds, I suppose. Can I die yet? <laughs> Hopefully soon. <laughs> oh, eventually, eventually. <laughs> I think it eventually kills you. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe we do have to save for it. Oh god, I'm in the wormhole. Black. Oh, I black don't. screen. Oh. Well, okay, I guess it doesn't happen forever. <laughs> is this outer space? <laughs> this is not this is not outer space. Oh, I Bro, died. How how did they miss that though? You can literally just reach straight through the wall. Yeah, you can. Oh, it's spawned it... us. Oh, wait, take the elevator. It spawned us light in the downstairs area. Man, they, they need to hire developers that are wall huggers. <laughs> it's true. Okay, why is the door closing on me? Oh god. Why are you getting back then? Because the door closed on me. It's not even opening. There we go, finally. Just thinking to myself, maybe if I go back down and go up, it'll open the door again. Is that not going over? Okay, that's not how you're supposed to do that, but it works. It works, just walking up that. <laughs> oh, bounty board right here. Well, we, we can't use it yet. Yeah, I, I think we do get a couple of side missions on that in a minute. Oh my god! Jesus, Jack! You should give us a warning next time! <laughs> Jesus! That fast traveling is so loud. Yeah, I think it doesn't take into consideration the audio settings. So it's at max volume no matter what. The Eye of Helios. Have you ever got to this part of the game? Uh, no, I haven't. I think when Jack uh, took over that office back in the Home Sweet Home mission, that's how far I made it. That's oh, okay. Yeah, the home sweet home mission. Yeah. I did most. I, mean, I did mostly every side quest I could find, so it took me a while to just yeah. I could tell because you're level 21 on your clap Mm-hmm. It's gonna get me level 20. Level 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. What level is our next main mission? 24. Oh, side side quest it is then. Yeah. Heck that, man. Heck that. Heck the main mission. Who cares about the story? 